Hello and welcome to Redprint App Builder Build Tools video. In a previous video, we showed you how you can easily create CRUDs using the Builder inside Redprint App Builder. Uh, in this video, we're going to focus on the Build Tools. Using the Build Tools, you can create your own model views and controllers using Redprint and edit them right inside Redprint. Uh, we can call this kind of a manual mode for Redprint. When this is necessary, say you create a CRUD on your backend. Now you want to show that on the frontend as well. That's when the build tools and the dashboard can come handy together. So uh, we have also loaded the frontend on a separate page and this is our backend. So first we're going to use the builder to really quickly create a um, CRUD and then show the contents of that CRUD from the database on this front end. Let's see how we can do that. So we're going to create a CRUD for say fruit. So this is our model name. Uh, everything else is of course taken care of by Redprint. So it'll have a name and we can search using it and we're going to index it for faster searching. Then we have image which is a file type of image this is knowable, we're not going to provide it all the time not going to show it in index as well okay so that's cool so our fruits um, crad should be ready in a second and it is now we have our fruits crad ready let's add a few fruits in it before moving on to the next step we're going to add apple there's um, apple photos for example wow there is there are actually more Apple logos than the actual Apple and uh, that's funny uh, let's take this one mm, this is too big okay this one cool view image and we're going to save it okay we have Apple what else we're going to add mango okay mango And okay, this one looks really nice. So as this as well. Cool. And what about peaches? Nice. We have peach as well. All right. So uh, let's create this few fruits on our system. So first we add apple, then let's add mango. Oh, let's edit mango and add it, add an image to it. We missed that. Okay, cool. And next let's add uh, peach. And we have peach. Cool. So we added three different fruits. Now we want to show them on a front end page. For that, we'll first need to create a route. So our routes file is located as usual on the web.php under routes. So we're going to create a new front end route for this. Route get fruits. Fruits controller at fruits controller at get index. Cool. So we're going to hit on a route called fruits and it's going to call the method get index inside fruits controller. Okay, let's save changes. Now we'll have to create this fruits controller. So let's jump into the build tools and click on controller because we want to create a controller. Give it a name over here. So it says PHP artisan make controller fruits controller. That looks correct. And click on make now. The controller is created successfully and we'll need a view file to show them on the front and so click on the view and this um, this is interesting this view command is not a native Laravel command this is exclusively available for Redprint users and it also supports dot and slash notations for example if you want to create a view file called index.blade.php inside the resources views fruits directory you can write fruits dot index like so 
So it will create a index.blade.php inside resources views fruits directory. Let's see. It says view file fruits slash index.blade.php created successfully. That's nice. Um, so let's go back into our dashboard to use the editor. We're going to go into the controllers and the controller is fruits controller so it is right now empty let's create that method that we defined uh, or specified on the routes file public function get index um, fruits equals to fruit all okay return view fruits dot index with fruits fruits okay uh, well we'll have to use the use app fruit okay now this looks correct to me let's see okay so now our view file called fruits dot index dot blade dot php fruits slash index dot blade dot php rather um, should now have the fruits in it. So let's move on to that view file and edit it. Fruits index.blade.php, this one. Okay, looks like it is scaffolded with a very basic uh, version of the view, extending the default layouts.app. Uh, we're going to just run a div class row. If class call md12 we're writing bootstrap 4 HTML over here and now let's give it a h2 header name it fruits give it a nice nice HR then let's uh, run the for each loop fruits as fruit and forage and let's show um, call md3 actually let's get up get rid of this one so call md3 so each fruit will be inside a call md3 first will be their image img src equals to let's see where our fruits images were uploaded so public uploads fruits and then this so um, MGSRC images oh. uploads slash fruits slash dot fruit dot image fruit image that should be should do it. Let's give it a nice bootstrap class thumbnail and so that's our image file there and underneath we're going to show the fruit name. So let's name it fruit name like so. So that should do it. Um, by the way, you can change the theme if you don't like this um, whitish theme, you don't like light themes, you have a couple of options uh, for dark themes as well. Okay, so now um, we have created the view file called index.blade.php that is going to show the fruits with their images on the front end. Route, let's check this on our front end, the route being slash fruits. And nice uh, looks like our fruits are all scattered uh, because we really didn't care about the um, 
image sizes, but we can take care of that by doing a width equals to 100 pixel. See if that helps. Oh, actually it does. And then after the image, let's use a BR to place them nicely. Uh, well, let's write some CSS over here. Style margin top 200 pixel. Did that help? Okay, it's kind of okay. And let's do a div class called MD12 anyway. Then add the row and have all this inside should be a little bit better yeah so as you can see we have created a not so decent looking front end but it surely works so it is up to you how you are going to design your front end but we just showed how you can easily uh, code inside this built-in code editor and create views controllers and resources yourself so hope you enjoyed this video let us know if you if you think there is another way to do this or improve red print in any other way we're always listening thank you so much